267 22 Jiggy. Daddy money. Hey Jiggy, what's happening, man? It must be that uh, <laughs> David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar. Jeff. It's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know, you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my trick shots there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Welcome to our number two of the world famous Jiggy Jaguar show. Coast to coast to border to border all over the world wide web and on iHeartRadio. AM, FM stations across the country. And the TuneIn app. If you want to get a hold of us, it is JiggyJackWire.com. The man from 2063.com is the official website of Jack Duffy. And we've got Jack Duffy with us today here on the program. Jack, welcome back to the uh, welcome back to the show. How are you, sir? Just fine. How are you today? Pretty good, actually. Now, you have um, an amazing book. And uh, you have you have done. Uh, you're an accredited attorney. Uh, Twenty years of experience. You were ranked in the top 100 attorneys by Fort Worth Magazine, and of course, you're author of The Man from 2063. We've had you on the broadcast in the past, and um, today we're talking about uh, booming business for the Taliban. And uh, this is uh, this this is a crazy crazy situation. We're kind of a little up for the fans here with the release of Bo Bergdahl and his questionable alliance and allegiance. Uh, Taliban has now responded by saying it has encouraged our people. Now, everybody, we will work hard to capture such an important bird, not to leave out the potential uh, illegality and, and the eligibility of the release of the five top Taliban leaders exchanged for Bergdahl's release. Obama has created even more difficulties for his administration now. Taliban is now feeling a resurgence from this coup, and what does this do to our national security? And with us today, we've got critically acclaimed author and expert on the subject, Jack Duppy. He is going to help share some light and uh, get us get us kind of uh, some brought up speed on this on the continuing story that directly impacts national security. Jack, welcome back to the program. Tell us about this situation. Did Obama break the law essentially here? In your expert opinion, well. I believe he did. Uh, get congressional approval uh, 30 days before he does something like this, and they didn't do that. Uh, I'm not sure the Congress would have approved this kind of a swap of these uh, of these Taliban guys had they been told what was going to happen. Uh, I think it was a mistake, number one, to do it. Uh, I'm glad we got the American guy back, but we gave up an awful lot to get him, and we set a precedent now that's very bad for future presidents in the sense that now I know that if... Uh, if we if we want something bad enough, uh, that they'll we'll trade for it, and we'll give them what they want, and I think that sets a bad precedent. Jack Duffy with us today here on the program, coast to coast and border to border. He is uh, just an amazing, amazing guy. You can get more information on uh, the website, the man from twenty sixty three dot com, and uh, Jack joins us here on the program talking about uh, this uh, this Taliban situation now. A lot of the different things that are going on uh, in regards to uh, the Taliban coming back and essentially Obama helping them kind of re-strengthen, um, does this in fact re-strengthen and, and help the Taliban there, Jack? By, by trading this uh, American soldier? Yes, yes. Oh, absolutely. I think it gives them a lot of uh, That's the reason why Israel traditionally has never negotiated with terrorists in, in their history because uh, they don't want to they don't want to bargain with terrorists and uh, and that, that's a good policy and it's worked for them uh, they would rather lose hostages and then retaliate later than cave in and, and give in to terrorist demands uh, like a perfect example is what happened in Uganda years ago uh, 1976 when they had hostages down there in Entebbe and they sent a, a commando squad down there and, and killed all the terrorists and got the hostages out there and didn't lose anybody but one man amazing yeah. rescue rate it's gone down in history is one of the greatest raids in history militarily pulled off by Israel and that's why we need to follow what Israel does because we're setting a bad a bad president here for future administrations uh, because if we're going to continue to cave into terrorist demands then blackmail is going to pay off 
Oh yeah, very much so. And uh, this 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 is a, uh, a a very very strange situation. Um, Jack Duff joins us today. Uh, the, the it seems that business is just kind of booming for the old Taliban, and uh, they they got this guy back. Now, why did they? Um, from from what you can tell, why did they not? Uh, it's an it's an odd deal that they that they kept him, because usually. Uh, you know they 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 behead the first chance they get. Uh, what 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 do you think was the situation of them holding on to him like they did? Well, I think they did it for the very reason why because they thought eventually we we would want this guy back, and, and if he's dead, of course he's of no value to us anymore. So uh, by having him alive, then they could use him you know for bait or for for to trade off, and that's exactly what happened. And uh, I'm I'm glad we got him back. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad for his family. But the price we paid, I think, was too high uh, to do it. Jack Duffy joins us today here on the program, Coast to Coast and Boulder to Boulder, The Man from 2063. That is an amazing, amazing book. And uh, Jack with us today here on the broadcast, The Man from 2063.com is the official website. And also he hosts The Man from 2063, the radio program, each and every week on Blog Talk Radio. Now, um, uh, in, in light of Congress not being aware of this transfer, is there room to speak on a potential impeachment here there, Jack? Well, I don't want to say that I don't think Obama's going to be impeached uh, because of this, uh, although I think I think something could be done potentially to put that forward in the Congress. I don't know how far it would go, but uh, he kind of just, like a lot of experts say on the radio and TV the other night, uh, he kind of operates independently of Congress. He kind of does what he wants to do, unfortunately, <laughs> whether it's good or not. Uh, that's what most experts, they just call him not a dictator, but something pretty close to that because he, he does things without getting proper approval, and he just, whatever he wants, he just goes and does it. And uh, that's not the way the presidency is supposed to operate. Uh, so, you know, I don't know what to say as far as impeachment. I, I'm not, I don't think he's going to get impeached, but, uh, you know, he's just going to continue to do things that he wants to do. He doesn't really care what other people think. We've got a uh, great guest with us today, Jack Duffy. He joins us uh, from time to time. This time we're talking about Booming business for the Taliban is with us today here on the program. Uh, do you see national security at a higher risk now that uh, this this has happened? Oh, definitely. Uh, it's shown we are showing our enemies that we're weak instead of strong, in my opinion. Uh, by doing what we're doing, we're just uh, giving them more leverage. Look what's happening in Iraq right now. We got this new terrorist group ISIS going around trying to take over the country now because Obama's pulled a, a lot of troops out. And they're just they're running the country over now, killing people right and left, executing soldiers, uh, doing horrible things, and you know they're going to eventually go to Baghdad if we don't do something. Uh, so I don't know what the, I don't know what the solution is going to be there. I mean, we might have to send more troops in to stop them, but the Iraqi army apparently is not capable of stopping them. They're just they're just running, you know, turning high tail and running. And we spent billions of dollars training that army to take over when we left, and look what we got for our money. You know, we got a, an, an army that just didn't want to fight, and it's a very sad situation over there. And Jack Duffy joins us today here on the program, and uh, this, this is something that uh, a lot of folks uh, seem to be thinking that uh, the business is definitely, definitely booming. Taliban now that they have this, uh, they have five of their uh, of their guys back. Uh, what would have been an alternative to uh, trading Bergdahl for uh, for something? What would have been a better alternative? Uh, you were the president, and you were advising him, or what have you? Well, on this. they could have they could have uh, traded him for some lesser important people, people that really weren't that high up in the organization. I mean, the guys that they gave back to the Taliban were like compared to Nazi Germany, it'd be like give, us giving Joseph Goebbels and Hermann Goering and Heinrich Himmler back to to the Germans, you know, in exchange for one American soldier. I mean, we gave like five of the top leaders of the Taliban back in exchange for a guy who's not even a high ranking soldier. Uh, if I was going to do it at all, I would have probably traded one or two lower-level guys, you know, that weren't that important, and say, hey, you can have these guys, but we're not giving you the top guys. <laughs> <laughs> it, is a, uh, it is a fantastic, fantastic guest with us today. We have Jack Duffy. And, uh, Jack, uh, before we let you go, how's the book doing for you, my friend? Well, uh, the book that's out is on the JFK assassination. It's been doing pretty well. It's uh, done all right. It's, uh, it's gotten great reviews. Uh, we'll have to have another show on that sometime. Uh, the book I'm writing now is called Black Mamba. It's about terrorism, and it's kind of weird because it's like a James Bond type book, uh, American agents instead of British agents fighting terrorism. And a lot of what I wrote in the book up to this point has already 
coming to pass in the real world, which I didn't anticipate when I wrote this book. It's very eerie and coincidental how the book's paralleling, uh, paralleling a lot of what's going on in the world right now. Now, uh, when when is when is that book available? Well, I hope to have it finished this summer, uh, and hopefully it'll be sometime in 2014 is what I'm expecting. Well, it uh, I think it's going to be one of those uh, one of those good sellers. I know that uh, your your previous books have done fairly well, so this this will be a, this will be another good one for you, Jack. Um, yeah. Jack, have yourself a wonderful day, and we'll talk soon, my friend. Thanks well, for thank being on with us. Me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Jack. Bye-bye. We've got more when we come back on the other side. It's no secret.